Today is record store day. So I decided to take the kids over to JCD and Hobby just to see what goodies we can find today. There's only one record I was looking for and that's the 10 year anniversary of Pinata. It's getting re-released with like a alternate cover that looks really cool. Speaking of cool, these tiny tears or these toony tears I've been seeing all over the place. Didn't know they made like big boxes like this. For Halloween three, that's pretty sweet. Here's like where they put a lot of their new steel books. I don't have this steelbook for Rick and Morty season five. So for $12.99, even though there's kind of like a dent in the corner, I am A-OK -okay with it. Here's all the stock that they haven't put out yet. Kind of cool to see some of the newer steelbooks out here. But here's some other steelbooks that I found that are on the shelves. Uh, this big beefy boy from Mission Impossible. I don't have it and it's only $16.99, but I have the movies already. So I thought I'd pass. Here's Gemini Man for $20. Glass for $22. A not great movie with a great steelbook. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I found that for $5 in the bargain bins at Walmart. Dracula Untold is one that I don't have. I don't think I would ever watch this movie, so I'm putting it back. I love all the artwork that they have on here that you can buy. This is the hallway to go to the bathroom, by the way. Just very cool to go. But here's what we are here for, to see what records we can find. I kind of want to teach my girls the digging process. It's just very therapeutic, just going through everything. But speaking of digging, I looked underneath the records and saw that they had laser discs. That's pretty cool. I kind of want this T2. I don't need it for $20 and they didn't have anything that I desperately needed in there. So I decided to pass. I like this album, but I like the original one better. So I didn't pick these up either. I kind of want these Flintstone toys. Decided not to at the very last minute, kind of regretting it. They're only five bucks. I love how Alf is with all the other horror icons and stuff, but here's what I got. Ended up getting Rick and Morty season five, $12.99. No brainer. I got this Pixar toy. I have the one for night. Now I have one, the one for day. One of my favorite shorts. I picked up TV on the radio. Return to Cookie Mountains. One of the best albums ever. And my daughter's a Swifty, so we got Midnight's.